Pick up. Hey, Josh. It's me, Vineet. Uh, dude, we need to get working on our math project as soon as possible. What are they? You're dropping out? But I thought you liked working with me on these video projects. Maybe you just got tired of filming with me. I understand. But still, we've made so many good videos together. I guess. I guess I have to work on myself on this project. Oh, I might as well do my math worksheet. <sighs> Somebody stole my bike! I just bought it last week! And today's already a bad day. Am I kidding? I can't do any of these problems. Wait, number one. Number one, I can do number one. This should be a pretty easy equation to solve. Three times the quantity three x minus seven plus sixty nine equals two times the quantity negative x plus one sixty nine plus four times the quantity two x minus thirty eight plus sixty nine. Well, we can first get rid of these two completely useless plus sixty nines. And then we get this. Now I see the best thing to do from here is to distribute the 3, 2, and 4 to their nearby parentheses. This leaves us with 9x minus 21 equals negative 2x plus 338 plus 8x minus 152. Now from here I would probably combine like terms, giving us 9x minus 21 equals 6x plus 186. And remember, the goal here is to get x by itself on one side. So the best thing to do from here is to add 21 to each side. We get 9x equals 6x plus 207, and it's pretty easy from here. You subtract 6x from both sides, leaving you with 3x equals 207. Then you divide by 3 both sides, and you get the final answer of x equals 69. Alright, time for number 2. I have no clue what number 2 is even asking for. I need to find some help. Oh, I'll just call my smart gangster friends. But how can I contact them? Oh, I'll just call the local gangster employment company from the Yellow Pages. They ought to know where he is. Alright, gangster employment company. Probably on the first page. If you have any information regarding local gangsters, please call 911. Well, I don't have any information, but I certainly want some. That should work. 911. Oh, hello? Huh, maybe this fool will let me in his house. Is that a nickel? A nickel, one month salary, nice. Yo, dude, if you just let me hide in your house for a couple minutes, uh, I'll give you this nickel. I'll give you this nickel. Come in. Wow, I can't believe you're already here. Come in, man. Come in. Thank you so much, bro. I really need your help. Wait, you don't remember me? Yeah. Last year, yeah. for the history project. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The okay. audience may not know how a nerd like me knows such a cool gangster <laughs> like you. Cue <Kill> flashback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know that documentary for Mrs. Linder's class? It's gonna be so freaking hard. It's the preamble, right? Yeah. Do you know what the heck that means? No, no. Let's just go ask someone. Yeah, let's just go. Come on. Uh, oh, Sessica, the other guy. Sessica. Hey, dude, Vinny, come over here. Yo, what's up, my homes? What's up, my homes? Hey, what's the problem, yo? So, it's finally great to see you after one and a half years. Huh, 
So where's your other gangster buddy? Oh, he got busted by the cops over a year ago. Poor guy. Only got 49 kills. Didn't even get to break 50. Not even 50. I didn't do nothing. Only killed 49 people. Didn't even get to break 50. Not even 50. <sighs> Anyways, uh, didn't you mention you needed some help, yo? Yeah. Just tell me, homie. Let's make a deal. You can hide me in your house, and I'll help you. Want me to kill someone? Just tell me one word. I got him quick and clean. No, no, it's nothing like that. Look, I know you're smart, and I need help with my math worksheet. It's just six questions that I need to explain my video project. <laughs> no problemo. Also, somebody stole my bike. Yeah, do you happen to know anyone who could stole my bike? <sighs> nah. All right, let's just start with my math. <clears throat> Oh my... What happened here? My math worksheet's gone? Oh my god... Your backpack's gone too! Somebody's been going through your stuff, fool! You know, now that you mention it... What'd you last to your bike? Right over here. You see, when I picked up that nickel, I saw paper on the ground. Right there. It says, it is I who have stolen your bike, but do not pain. You can see your bike again if you solve these clues that I will give to you. Alright gangster, I'll read this one. Vineeth began eating Eggo waffles during Mr. Papandurus's math class five months ago. Oh wait, how does Mr. Papandurus know this? Oh, maybe because I sit right in front of him. Anyways, the following are his test score percentages for the past five monthly units. Tell whether his score is arithmetically or geometrically decreasing in a sequence. So the first term is 625 with one waffle per week. Then 125. 25, 5, then 1, with 10 waffles per class period. Uh, Mr. Gangster, I have no clue what this question is even asking for. Well, son, we know this one is a geometrical sequence because the ratio is 1 fifth. That means we're multiplying 1 fifth to each term to get the next term in the sequence. But what can this mean? 1861. I don't know, man. I'm stumped. Hmm. Maybe it could be a code or a symbol of some sort. 1861. 3273. I got it! It's the address of the house! Then let's find 1861. <laughs> Is that 1861? Yep, that is. Uh, yo, homie! Homie! What are you homie? Come on, dude! Congratulations. You may proceed inside. Alright. Uh, what kind of place is this? Only three doors? Two, one, and three. Look behind you, fool! Oh, look a note. The number you receive as the answer is the door you must proceed through. Proceed with caution. You will be locked forever in the wrong room. Yo, Vinit son, I think you can do this one by yourself. Alright then. Is negative 8 a cubed b the first, second, or third term in the binomial expansion of a minus 2b all to the fourth? Uh, actually, gangster, I have no clue how to do this. It's cool, man. It's cool. First, you need to know the binomial theorem, which is right here. And then using this and the Pascal's triangle, you plug in the values given to you, which simplifies to a to the fourth minus 8a cubed b plus 24a squared b cubed minus so on and so forth. We don't need to do the rest because, you know, we're cheap and, you know, we'll, we only have to go to the third term and, you know, we're just cheap like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we get it. Okay. Uh, so the answer is two, right? All right, let's go. They've stolen my gangster friend too! 
There has to be a problem here inside here somewhere. I need to find that. Gotta find that problem. Notebooks? Dial the number you receive as your answer. Okay? Okay, find the coefficient of x to the fourth in the expansion of 3x plus 2 to the tenth. Okay, okay. If I can remember what the gangster taught me, uh... Alright, I know that each term in the expansion has the form 10cr times 3x to the tenth minus r times 2 to the r. And, uh, therefore, the term containing x to the fourth occurs when r equals 6. Which simplifies to the coefficient of 108-8640. Hello. I've stolen your bike, and I have your little wannabe gangster. More of a wankster as a hostage. If you want to see your friend alive again, you must solve the next problem. To your right, you will see a chess mat. On the corner of the mat that is nearest to you, there is a problem. Replace the last two digits of the phone number you just dialed with this problem's answer. The following is a probability tree diagram showing Vinit's probable activities after coming home from school today. Find the probability that Vinit will actually do his project or homework. Well, after school, Vinit has a 69% chance of procrastinating homework, and within that 69% chance, he has a 95% chance of procrastinating homework even more, What the 5% chance he's actually going to do is homework. And on the other side, he has a 31% chance he's going to procrastinate the math video project that's due this Friday, and within that 31% chance, he has a 1% chance of actually doing his project by himself, and a 99% chance he's going to ask a random smart gangsters for help. Oh wait. Anyway, so we need to multiply 0 0.69 times 0 0.05 and then add that to 0 0.31 times 0 0.01, which I believe gives us approximately 3.8%. I've unlocked the door for you. Go through door number three now. All right, number three. Right here? And right here. Another one. This is your final problem. Solve this and we meet in person. If the error is in steps one through four, take the door on your left. Steps five through eight, take the door on your right. Everybody's heard of the math myth that two equals one. The proof is below. Find which step the error occurs. All right. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Just simple simplifying. Nope. And wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is divided by a squared minus a squared. That's zero, and that destroys the full world. All right, so it's in step eight, so I have to take the door on my right. I guess this is my right. Okay, I'll take this door. Who's there? <laughs> I was the guy who stole your bike, your backpack, your math worksheet, and your silly gangster friend. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I had to. Ooh, what? Here, remember all those little pieces of papers you had to solve with the problems on it that you had to solve to get here? Well. Take them all out of your pocket. Okay? Just do as I say. Come on, just take them out. Don't worry. Now, scatter them all around. Try to make them, you know, connect together like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, like that. And here's the first question you did. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I played this whole drama just so I can get you to do your own homework for once. <sighs> All right, man. If you ever need any other help in any other future video projects, just give me a holler. How can I ever repay that you hid me from the cops today? Some idiot in this neighborhood called 911. I think that guy was me.